Okay, so it's not real. It can't hurt you. We're still pretty right sure back. this theme is very real and can't hurt us. <laughs> right, well, how do we want to approach this? Do we want to think of the genre next? I mean, we've been trying to do that for like the past hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm gonna write it down. So we got psychological horror and horror in general, right? Mundane horror. <laughs> Mundane horror. That's pretty terrifying, all right? That's it for is someone terrifying. like me, all right? Oh yeah, the mundane horror is definitely, you know, it, it hits you at that personal level. Yeah. The problem is, is we have to make a video game out of it. <laughs> I want people to be the end of it. I was like, yeah, man, I felt that. Emotional <laughs> control. Because <laughs> we'll, we could do a story-driven narrative, all right? That's that's another genre. Story-driven narrative. I mean, do we want Would to that be a visual someone? novel? <laughs> I mean, you could. I wouldn't mind making text-based adventures too. I have awesome. it on tape where you're like, I'm not making a text-based adventure. <laughs> 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 it's like our very first video, you're like, I'm not making that. Okay, well, yeah, we're doing fun anyway, so it's a <laughs> I'm not making a text based adventure. You sure? It's all about adapting, alright? I'm gonna add that in this video. <laughs> you want to tape saying, I'm not making that. Um, do, we, do we want to stay in 2D or do we expand our horizons to try 3D? Like 3D stuff. Gonna have some uh, game breaking graphics here. They will be the shittiest graphics. They will what? Be shittiest. You know what, what I've learned is like shitty graphics don't mean shit as long as it's fun. I mean this is true. Super hot, fun game. Super fun game. Not, I, but not what, all right. You're you're right. This super hot is minimalistic graphics okay, though, not that's, shitty graphics. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's what the difference. I'm, all right. Well, you can at least go from shitty to minimalistic in somewhat of a reasonable fashion, right? As yeah. opposed to going from shitty to high quality. Right. You can make minimalistic look good with definitely infinitely less. Remember effort. that none of us know how to do 3D animation at all. That's true. But I do like to use this as an opportunity to learn. We only have seven days. <laughs> well, I guess you gotta learn quick. What if we just called the game that seven days? Are you trying to make it? <laughs> no. What if we make a game where people have to make a game in seven days? I literally had this exact idea for another game jam, and the theme was Rush. Oh, shit. I was like, I'm just gonna make a game about a dude rushing <laughs> to finish a game jam. <laughs> 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 Oh man, that's what's gonna happen to us this week. Really am curious to see if we could do mundane horror. What, all right, define mundane Yeah, horror. what is mundane horror? It's like, going through your everyday life, but not like with music. rose-tinted glasses. Quite the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Imagine having to go through your everyday life. Like working at Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly how that feels. That's mundane horror. Yes. Where you have to do the exact same thing every day. And there's no yeah. way to actually spice up your life or bring color into it. You know, that, that to me is mundane horror. I mean, while that is like an interesting like, a, like commentary style theme, Again, we have to make a video game out of this that yeah. people will play. <laughs> You're, this would be a video game that reminds them of what their life is outside of the game. Like, imagine getting home from work and sitting down <laughs> and like, I'm gonna play this game. And you play it and you're like, this is, this is just my life. <laughs> I, I, this, I'm just gonna go to bed and contemplate like, just not waking up. <laughs> you were the one who said earlier, man, why do we keep on making all these depressing games? Yeah. I feel like that's a little too well the others. Yeah. I didn't worry about that. Like, horror is good, but I think depressing would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think depressing is so hard. I mean, yeah. we could make, like, the beginning of the game, like, the setting is like, I don't want to do this. 
And then they go for like, uh, like what you said, you make the choice, like which one are you gonna do? Or, you know, they go through their mundane, boring ass life and then they go back to like a truly horrific like situation and they're like, well, maybe the pushing carts is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but do we want to go there? I'm okay with this. This is difficult. I can't think of a good idea for this. Like, it's for a short term, good idea. yeah. Like all of our ideas so far have been like really awesome, just not within the time frame. Yeah, right. Although I do kind of almost like the idea that Johnny mentioned earlier about like being in an office building. I think it would combine what you said and you said about like, you know, just you're basically stuck in like this complex of some kind, office mm -hmm. building, whatever, and you're trying to get out. But like nothing works. Like you find a door that's got a lock on it. Like, and then you're like, all right, I need to go find this key. And you find the key, but you go back and you cannot find the door that has the lock anymore. Like everything is different. Different. And there's like a monster that's chasing you. But like, there's evidence enough that it exists. But like, at least for your first encounter, it like comes at you and like, right as it's about to like hit you, it like vanishes. And it's like, you okay. having to wrestle with the idea of, is this real, is it not? What do you need to run away from? What, What's not going to hurt you? What is going to hurt you? Do we, do and we it could also just be a, a glimpse into a person going crazy. Yeah. Oh, that would be fucked up if you RNG it, and like, sometimes <laughs> it'll hurt you, sometimes it won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 so do, do we want to go with that? I, Cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this flow, so like... I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. Okay, so it works in 2D often enough where I think it would be easier to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's also easier to have like that side view perception to like see what's going on. You can make your character animated in a way that you as the player can see okay. better than a 3D situation. I will, I will, I will lay it down on the line. If I can make it 3D, could we go for that? I just think it would be way too difficult. You think so? It would take ages to make the assets. We could make the idea in 2D, and then if you want, we can make a full game in 3D. Yeah, later on, if we if we think that this will work in 3D and we want to do it outside the scope of the game jam, we can try to do it in 3D. I just personally think it'll look better in 2D. You think so? I think yeah. the in terms of like exploration first person, it's, it's it'll be a point. It'll be a hard point and click yeah. situation where. Because I think it's going to be important to be able to visually see the player character. Because we can make them go through like stages of panic that are visible to us that you won't get from a third person game. Mm -hmm. Well, because the... I mean, unless we're trying to do like a fixed camera angle style clock tower s car where it's not first person but it's still 3D. Yeah. I don't know, but I think that would just be a little yeah. difficult.
four. I, I mean, I didn't really sleep today, to be honest. to make some more tracks for the stages. I tried to do an ending theme. I'm just afraid of it being too happy because I think they still, we're still trying to get like a, I don't know if it's sad or dread vibe going, but it's getting there. So I think there's about three more tracks that need to be recorded. And uh, we still gotta do the, uh, the video cinematic stuff, yeah. The rest of the team is at work right now, I think. So I'm gonna meet up tomorrow and try to make some more progress there. But so far the game's coming along pretty well. It looks looks good. So we're gonna try to add a cinematic cutscene, I guess. I don't know if it's gonna be animated or if it's gonna be a video. Uh, if it's a video, I'm gonna try to use this. Uh, one second. Can I switch? Does it let me switch? Well, this camcorder, basically. We'll see if I can use this, and basically make it look like a damn camcorder. If not, uh, we can just try using a uh, an app. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, it's quickly to like almost like spew like toner or oh, something like to, that. Oh yeah, I can do. I can add. You want me to add to the sprites? Um, because I still have the whole thing. Um, or do you want that as a different? I think what you could probably do is just like it, you don't even need to make an animation or like a sprite sheet or anything. Just make a just toner. make a, like a blotch, like an, either an in ink or toner blotch that I'll have it like spawn in and then they'll find like random points in the map to like go to and then once they like hit their designated spot then they'll like turn on a hitbox briefly. It is currently about 5 46 in the morning. Uh I just finished up the soundtrack and the cinematics. I'm still tired <laughs> but yeah uh, I'm gonna do more work later in the afternoon, I guess because the sun's gonna come up soon, so I'm gonna go get some sleep.